Once, in a fold of the hills, there was a stately home called Badgerwood House. Families came to visit it and play and have picnics in its beautiful park. Behind the house was a children's farmyard with lots of animals. One of the animals was a piglet. His name was Piggo. Piggo and the Sheep Shearing Piggo was in the yard watching Clarence shear the sheep. They had all been brought in from the field to have their wool cut off and they were glad to lose it. Their long fleeces felt thick and hot in the warm weather. It was funny how big the sheep looked with their wool on and how thin and bony they looked without it. One by one they were shorn and trotted away, leaving Clarence to pick up the wool. He pulled off any dirty bits, rolled it up and put it into a huge sack. Later it would be made into cloth and carpets. Suddenly someone sat down beside Piggo. It was his best friend, Jacob the Lamb. Hello, Jacob said. Hello, replied Piggo. Aren't you being sheared as well? No, I haven't enough wool yet. I'll be done next year. Then someone sat down on the other side of Piggo. It was Chloe, the brown nanny goat. Hello, she said airily. I'm glad I'm not a sheep. Fancy being tipped up on your bottom like that and having all your coat cut off. How very undignified. I shouldn't like it at all. I would but. Clarence if it was me. Piggo and Jacob looked at each other. Chloe always liked to say something shocking. Jacob said, if you were a sheep you'd be glad to be shorn, Chloe. Then they turned to look as Clarence stood up, puzzled. He pushed his cap to the back of his head and stared all round the farmyard. There was a list pinned to the barn wall and he peered at it. I've lost one of my sheep, Piggo, he said, and disappeared round the back of the barn to look for her. Just then Piggo thought he heard something. Piggo had terrific ears. They could hear the smallest sound. Listen, he said to Chloe and Jacob. All was quiet for a moment, and then they heard it again. It was a voice, a small, far away cry. Help! You've forgotten me! Help! That way, decided Piggo, and the three friends raced towards the voice. It came from the field where the sheep had been. There were some bushes in the corner and a dip in the ground where the sheep liked to lie. Piggo, Jacob and Chloe rushed round the back of the bushes and there was the largest, wooliest sheep of all, Shirley, lying on her back with her four legs waving in the air. Oh, Shirley, what's happened? Are you hurt? Piggo asked. She twisted her head round to look up at him. Well, no, not really, Piggo, but I can't get up, she said pathetically. I tried to go with my sisters to be shorn, but I was lying in the dip and accidentally rolled over onto my back. My wool is so heavy that I can't stand up. They've all gone without me, she protested. Nobody even came to look for me. Yes, they did, Shirley, Piggo said. Clarence is searching for you now, and your sisters thought you were with them all the time. Can we help? I just need a good push on one side, she said. Can you count to three and roll me over? The three friends lined up beside Shirley. Piggo counted. One, two, three, push! They all pushed hard with their noses or bottoms into Shirley's soft white side. She was easy to roll like a big ball. 
Her small hooves went scrabble, scrabble on the dry ground, and then, after a great woolly struggle, she scrambled to her feet. I feel tottery, she said nervously. Stand by me for a minute. They all propped her up until she didn't have pins and needles in her legs any more. Then they walked with her back to the farmyard. Clarence was standing at the gate, and his face lit up when he saw the animals coming. Ah, there you are, Shirley, he said. Where have you been? Are you all right? He gave Shirley a friendly pat. Come on, let's get this wool off for you. You must be worn out carrying all that. Shirley walked off happily with Clarence. Piggo, Jacob and Chloe watched them go and then dashed off to play, glad that they didn't have to worry about things like being shorn. (laughs) 